Hi, I'm Michael Taylor from Trackworthy, and we are in Gimli, Manitoba at the AMG Driving Academy Winter Sporting. And by the way, my hands are frozen now because it's minus 20 degrees centigrade and with the wind chill it's minus 30. So let's get in these cars and have some fun. We have three different programs that we offer. We have our AMG Winter Sporting Performance Course, Advanced Course and Pro Course. And the key difference is really the amount of time that you spend with us here in Gimli. It's either one and a half days or two and a half days. All of the courses offer the opportunity for participants to learn how to slide, learn how to drift, learn to be a little safer in winter conditions as well. So you only need 15 centimeters to hold one car on the lake. We currently have 150 centimeters of ice, so you have enough ice here to actually land a 747 on the lake. Behind me are 18 high-performance AMG cars. We've got CLA45, E63, and the C63. Tons of horsepower, tons of torque, and you need the torque when you're out on the lake, on the driving courses. Because once you get into these beautiful power slides and drift these cars around the corners, you need a lot of torque to keep the rear end out. We've also got three different types of drive here. We've got rear-wheel drive only, we've got Formatic with a front-wheel drive bias, and we've got Formatic with a rear wheel drive bias. So it does require adjustments in your driving style to be able to manage and get the kind of power slide that you want and the drift that you want in especially the CLA with its Formatic with the front wheel drive bias sending up to 50% of the power to the back tires. That car requires the most adjustment in the way you would normally expect to, to drift, but once you get it, it's fantastic. happen to be sitting in a 600 horsepower, 600 plus horsepower car with more than 600 pound feet of torque and the traction control is turned off, which sounds like the sensible thing to do when you're driving on five feet of solid ice. So we're going to get one of the instructors to join us now. She's going to take us out on the course and tell us how to drift this little puppy. Hi. So are your cameras here? Yeah. How are you doing, Melanie? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's try not to crash. Please, let's not <laughs> crash, okay? This. So one of the big things you can do is look around the corner, use especially the tighter ones, use your visual reference as that inside line and that'll help keep your nose where you want to go. Look around this wide sweeper, center yourself between the banks. Just give it a little bit of gas. Excellent, and you can see as you turn the wheel, if you do a little bit more to the left, it'll start a slide and to the right it'll fix it. There you go. Let's go on this on the Yeah, good job. There you go. Now if the cars are equipped with studded tires, we have approximately 400 studs per tire and they're big studs and they're really designed to give a lot of traction on the ice. We currently have six tracks out on the ice and all of the tracks are, are quite unique. They, they're designed for drifting. Our longest track, when we link all our tracks together, is eight and a half kilometers in length. So our participants get a real chance to slide cars around. The CLA45 is a great car to drive but it does require a little bit of counterintuitive steering. The rear wheel drive car, we all get that. Been there, done that. This all wheel drive with the front wheel drive bias and then sending up to 50% of the drive to the rear tire is something you need to get used to. You have to adjust how you counter steer and how you move the throttle. Um, but it, once you get this car, it is extremely rewarding to drive. All of our courses have a race. We call it our race of champions and our participants race against each other on the AMG Arena to see who the overall winner is. Excellent, really good. 
really good job. So you're really, really smooth with your initial application of throttle and really good by look, uh, with looking and steering in the direction you want to travel. But we're going to try and maintain a slide for just a little bit of a longer duration so we can start maybe transitioning. Oh, there we go. So thanks for tuning in. Drive safely and we'll see you soon.